We're here to talk at a chairman's forum for the Independent Community Bankers Association, and we were talking off camera a moment ago about the folks that are in this audience. First of all, tell me who the audience members primarily will be this morning. Yeah, th these are guys and uh, women that are chairman of the board of their financial institution from all across the country. Different size institutions, a couple of public institutions, a lot of private institutions, so sort of an amalgamation of folks, both that all serve in that same capacity as chairman of the board from different parts across the country. But, but, very important, they're not necessarily career bankers. That's correct. In fact, most of these folks are not bankers at all. Most of them are individuals that have been successful in their own trade or business, for whatever reason, were asked to serve on the board, and then among that group of directors were elected to serve as chairman. So there's some people that would say that to be an effective leader, you have to be have years at the trough. You have to have years in the trenches of doing a particular skill or task or understanding a particular discipline. But in this particular case, not that these folks don't understand banking, not that they haven't done their, their, their work and preparation, but these are people who brought leadership skills to the fore and are able to step in a chairman's position. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Most of these folks uh, came to the bank position really with no particularized expertise in banking per se, but perhaps they were a president of their timber company or they were even a farmer or some other area of expertise, but then when they came to serve on the board, the collection of directors there then saw their leadership skills, asked them to serve in that capacity. And so absent the fact that even that they haven't been a, a banker, they certainly have the leadership skills necessary to lead the organization. Well, that begs the question, what are those leadership skills? As you're dealing with chairpersons from around the country and face-to-face, and -face, nose to nose in many cases over time, what have you discovered are some universal leadership characteristics or traits that are appropriate to be successful in that kind of a role? Yeah, good, good question, particularly for those that have no experience in this. And I think a couple of the key points, the first is the ability to make a decision. Uh, we see a lot of times in these scenarios, people want to defer to other people, particularly outside directors want to defer to the experts in the banking industry. You need someone who can gather the facts, assimilate them all together, try to get an organization to move toward consensus, and then even if there's not a full consensus, if a decision has to be made, willing mm -hmm. to make the decision and accept the responsibility for it is probably the primary role. And the second one, I think, is trying to pull the folks together to reach consensus. In these groups, there does not have to be uniformity of consent among the board of directors, but there has to be consensus, and the chairman's job, in my opinion, is to drive that. So that's two of the key components. So is, is that a communication skill? Is that a team-building skill? Is that some sort of uh, special skill that I'm not even thinking about? I, I think it's both of those things. I think it's communication one, which the biggest part of communication is probably the listening aspect of right. it, not the, the downward uh, uh, articulation to the other folks of what your thought is, but the listening, the compiling the different components and pulling those together. So it's listening, communication, uh, fact gathering, and, uh, and then trying to drive the folks toward consensus in a subtle way. I think what I've seen is the leadership style that's sort of a heavy-handed, direct down, often doesn't work. Uh, right. If you're trying to build the consensus, you're trying to get everybody's involvement. You may still ultimately be the one that makes that final decision, but you get the input from everybody else. So it is possible to take these skills in one area, in one arena, and transition or transform yourself and transfer that, those skills into another area and be just as successful, if not more successful, than even before. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. And I think that's why you see even at some of the largest organizations around the country, you'll see that you know Disney hires a CEO that was a CEO in a manufacturing company or something else, right. not someone that had some particularized film expertise, but they had the leadership skills to see that. I think in the current environment, as we start to see some of the auto manufacturers going through some trouble, right. I think you'll start to see those organizations and others looking for people that have leadership skills where they've been successful, perhaps in some other businesses to bring those in. So certainly, I think you can take those leadership skills, transfer those to another set of facts right. and do, do just fine. Philip, I'm looking forward to the day. Thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your breakfast this morning to share with me. And again, good luck and thanks for sharing with my folks Great. as well. Thank you, Phil. Okay.